Depending on the environment we are working in, for example, on this desktop computer, we have a Windows operating system. We will have the Excel program installed, and we will be able to access it using the home key on the keyboard. We see that here we have the Microsoft Office Suite installed and inside Excel. It is also very possible that we would have a shortcut to it on the desktop to help us access it faster. Anyway, with any of these solutions, we will be able to open a session in Excel. When we have created our spreadsheet, we can save the session using the icon, shaped like a floppy disk that we have here in the top left bar in the quick access bar. And hitting this button opens one of the many system browsers. And we can save our spreadsheet or our work in any desktop file in any directory that we have access to, whether on the network or on a USB storage device, for example. And then we give it a name. We can name it however we want. Nonetheless, it is recommended that it is indicative of the work we have done. And we save it with a format, with an Excel workbook format. We see that it will be a file with the extension XLSX. Excel lets us save in many formats, but the standard version in Excel is XLSX, which is very similar to the previous one, XLS, which earlier versions tend to use, and we can also work with these versions in this one. It is not usually possible to do this the other way around though. That is, with a spreadsheet made with a modern version, like this one, with the XLSX extension, it is possible that it would not be able to be opened with earlier versions of Excel. So, here we would give it a name, whichever we like, and we would save it on our device. For example, let's call this file test1. It is an Excel document and we save it, for example, directly on the desktop. Now we can continue working with this file since every time we save it, it will overwrite the said file. This way, we can comfortably work up to date with our files.